Breaking news, my wonderful people. You will be shocked and very, very, very shocked. Remember the other time that he had one of the rallies? I think it was in Delta or Edo State. And a little girl that was holding the, she was wearing this Nigerian kind of um, uh, flag, JC kind of thing. And um, she held this you know, Labour Party flag and was dancing, walking with the crowd. After a while, somebody lifted her up and she was lifting the flag and she was, you know, and everybody was so happy. People were calling the mother later, giving the little girl scholarship and what have you. Do you know that they are suing Peter Obi for that child? They said, uh, child right, wanting, wanting, wanting. For a child that was, you know, that was just dancing and the mother, they, according to the mother, said they were going to the market. Okay, and this little girl was just dancing and all of a sudden, somebody lifted her up, the thing went viral. My dear, that is super tubby because of the matter. Let's get all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you so much. Let's get all the details. Child rights activist Wale Ojo Larry has slammed a 50 million naira lawsuit on the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi for involving a toddler in his political rally in Lagos. Mr. Joe Larry had on October 27 filed the or or original motion on notice before a family court in the Keja Division of the Federal High Court in Lagos. He is suing the, re the respondent as a concerned Nigerian. That's his own problem. And a consigned Nigerian and a friend of the toddler. Can you imagine a consigned Nigerian, a friend of the toddler? Okay. It says the op the other respondent in the su suits are in included the Labour Party Queen, the mother of the underage child, the federal government, and the Attorney General of the Federation. The petition is seeking an award of fifty million naira in damage against the first, second, and third defendant for violating child rights. Mr. John Larry argued that it is it was illegal, misleading, unlawful, exploitive, and abusive for the presidential candidate to post a picture of the video of a toddler via his Twitter handle on October the 2nd and refer to her as a poster child. The first defendant allowed participation and usage of a toddler in an adult political rally which took place on the streets of Lagos on October the 1st. This is contrary to section 29 and 33 of the Child Rights Act, Act of Lagos State and Article 36 of the United Nations Convention of Rights of Children 1981. The activist has explained. He added we seek an order for the first and second respondent to delete their respective tweets and several other posts on their social media accounts in reference to the underage girl child which we seek an order mandating the fourth and fifth defendant to withdraw the toddler from the care and custody of the third respondent mr joe larry said he was seeking a court order to foster the child to any welfare home under the acceleration and supervision of the Federal Ministry of Women Affairs or other appropriate authorities for proper care, education, protection and upbringing up to the age of 18 years old. In addition, we seek an order to disqualify the second defendant respondent from participating in the 2023 presidential election for condoling, adopting, and encouraging, allowing the usage of the toddler in his rally. Mr. O Mr. Ojo has stated, the activists also urged the court to prevent the second and third respondent from posting circulating photos of the toddler. Can you imagine? Oh? He further submitted that the fourth and fifth resp respondent should, in it should initiate criminal complaint, arrest, and prosecution of the first defendant, second and third respondent for the allegation of exploit in all that has happened so my wonderful people this is what is going on right here and now remember that child that you know they lifted up that we told you now go to apple line media on that video you'll see for yourself you know all that happened you can see now that this is what is going on these very persons these people have come on now and they have started what you can see 
they've gone on and you can see that they are doing everything humanly speaking possible to bring about more devastation and pain to the people yes and so the the father of the child remember i was begging when he saw that um, there is you know prominence has come to the child he has, he has, you know, he has gone on to say, ah, eh, eh, they should, eh, they should allow them, okay, they should allow them here and then, and all that. They should allow him reconcile with the mother. Initially, they said he told the mother that um, he should get rid of the child while she was pregnant, and when she did not, he went on and you know, and now you can see that he, he came back and said he wants them to reconcile them. Okay, and afterwards, somebody has gone to meet with him. Now we don't know. This is politics saying that ah, they need to they need to quickly you know make some harvest from the current uh, issue. Now they should say Peter Obi uh, was I mean the mother and the, and the mother of the child. According to her, and the child were going to the market when they saw people going for rally, and the child joined the rally. Do you understand? The child joined the rally, and so this is what he did, and he said ah, the child has joined the rally, so. You know, people were so happy to see, you know, a child even supporting Labour Party. For that very reason, you know, they are holding Peter Obi hostage now, saying that he should come and pay 50 million naira. Apparently, it's the girl's father, the child's father. For that video now, they are saying Peter Obi should come and pay, you know, 50 million naira. Okay? Peter Obi should come and pay 50 million naira. This is what is happening. This is what is going on. Okay? So this is why everybody needs to rise up. We all need to rise up and do not allow the same thing over and over again. The days upon us have come to show to us, you know, how things have been destroyed beyond measure. Okay? We all just need to rise up. Everybody needs to rise up. Okay? Everyone needs to rise up. So this is what is happening, my wonderful people. This is how things have gone. And this is why every one of us needs to rise up and do not allow the same thing over and over again again okay these people have continuously destroyed the very essence of this nation can you imagine they want to even use that one now okay to cause more trouble they want to use that to, con to con cause more trouble so the time to rise up is now the time not to allow this to to be you know to destroy us as a nation is now so quickly everybody all hands on deck every one of us must do all we can possibly to get this nation rescued from the hands of those who wants to destroy it. And this is what is happening. And this is why, you know, we must rise up. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like or share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now. Bye-bye.